O servants of Allah, O children of Adam, indeed we witness with our eyes and with our minds and with our hearts and with our souls the changes the world is experiencing, the regression the world manifests for us, the lack of progress in front of our eyes. We witness this, O servants of Allah. We witness riches being turned into poverty. We witness stability being turned into chaos. We witness happiness being replaced by depression. We witness recessions. We witness job loss. We witness depression. We witness sadness. We witness instability. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. What has happened to the world? Where is that world that we read about at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? After the world was turned from darkness into light. After ignorance was removed and knowledge replaced that ignorance. Where is the world that saw happiness replace depression? That saw stability in economy replace recession? Where is the world, O servants of Allah and O children of, of Adam? Indeed, the world has changed. Nobody knows. Who knows what tomorrow will bring in terms of the economic situation? We've seen people lose their riches without even spending their wealth. Their money sits in the bank and currencies crash. It devalues. They've lost financial standing. They've lost material well-being without them even spending that wealth. What has happened to the world? O servants of Allah and O children of Adam, indeed, we can have a long analysis of what has happened to the world. But to bring matters closer to home, let us start with ourselves. For indeed, charity begins at home. A long time ago, Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, radiyallahu anh, he stood in front of a just king who was a Christian king, a non-Muslim king. And this king asked him to validate his stance and the stance of the Muslims and the stance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam in light of the propaganda that the Quraysh came to Najashi with. And Ja'far stood with izzah, with honor, with stability and he spoke a word that indeed is recorded in golden ink. He addressed Najashi and he said that we were a people that worshipped idols. We were a people that never respected the bonds of kinship. We never looked after the rights of our neighbors. We oppressed people with our wealth and financial dealings. We were oppressive in our speech. We were oppressive in our actions. We lacked good manners. And then came Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He came to us and he taught us to only worship one Allah and not a plethora of idols. He taught us to respect the rights of our neighbor, to respect the rights of wealth in business transactions, to look after the weak and support the oppressed. He taught us good character in speech and in action. And this is who we are. This is a presentation of the reality of Islam that was given to Najashi. Basically, Ja'far ibn Abi Talib was saying that we were a wretched people because we were a sinful people. And now we have become a people who are saved because of good deeds and because we have left sin. O servants of Allah, it is our sins. It is our sins that places us in the predicaments that we find the Ummah in today. We are interdependent beings. The Ummah is one body. Don't ever feel that your lack of piety is something that only you will feel. Yes, you will feel it in the greatest way and especially in the hereafter. But in terms of an Ummah that is integrated and interdependent, as per the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then know and understand that your sins in your home, your sins in your businesses, your sins in your rooms, your sins with each other is causing a deeper weakening of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is happening in Syria is because of our sins. What is happening in Palestine is because of our sins. What is happening in Libya and Burma and any place on earth that the ummah is feeling this oppression is because of our sins. And until we get up, get up and understand that we ourselves are responsible 
We are the spoke in the wheel of progress. Until we accept that, until we announce that, no change will come, O servants of Allah, and no children of Adam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in his book, فَمَنِ اتَّبَعَ هُدَايَ فَلَا يَضِلُّ وَلَا يَشْقَى That the one who follows my guidance, this is the only way, who the one who follows my guidance, he will never go astray and he will never be sad. He will never see his brethren astray, nor will he see his brethren sad. He will never see a sad Muslim child. He will never see a sad Muslim brother. He will never see a sad Muslim sister. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي But if you go against the Quran and the Sunnah, if you enter the realm of sins, if you make sins the order of your day, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Then for you, then for your people, then for your circumstance and situation, because collectively if a people engage in sin, then this is a collective situation that they're bringing upon themselves. فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Then for that person and everyone who follows that person will be a depressed life, a narrow life, a sad life, a difficult life. A life of recession, a life of oppression, a life of no rain, a, li a life of poor leaders. This is what will happen. As per the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is a universal law. Allah is telling us that Allah can do anything for us, but He is telling us that He won't unless we change ourselves. Allah will not change your situation. It's not that He can't. He has decreed that He won't unless you change your situation yourself. So if you leave the Hudaya, the guidance of Allah, then you will live the life that comes to a person who leaves the guidance of Allah. And it doesn't end there for Allah says, And we will raise this person blind on the day of Qiyamah. And this person will turn to Allah and say, Ya Rabb, Lima hashartani a'ma wa qad kuntu basira. That, oh my Lord, why am I blind? Why have you raised me blind? This is the day of Qiyamah. I lived a life on earth and I could see. Why am I blind today, Ya Allah? Oh my Lord, what has happened? Is this a mistake? And Allah will engage his slave in discussion and say, Allah says, لِمَا حِشَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا قَالَ كَذَلِكَ Allah will tell him in the same way, أَتَتْكَ آيَاتُنَا فَنَسِيتَهَا In the same way, our ayat came to you, the Qur'an came to you, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to you, the Shaykh came to you, the teacher came to you, the khutbah came to you, the YouTube video came to you, the conference lecture came to you, فَنَسِيتَهَا But you chose to just hear and not listen. You chose to forget. In the same way you chose to forget, you are forgotten today. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله what will be our situation, O servants of Allah? What will be our situation? There's no deeds to be shared on the day of Qiyamah. What will be our situation? This is the situation of the wretched. On the other hand, Allah tells us, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ That the one who does good deeds, from the males and the females, and they believe in Allah, they are the believers. This is, this, these are equations. These are principles. Whoever does good deeds from the males and the females and they believe in Allah, فَلَنُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبَةً Then we will revive their situation and their life. We will give them a beautiful, peaceful life. A life of richness and no poverty. A life of happiness and no depression. A life of justice and no oppression. Right? This is what will happen. And that is why Allah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us of a time when a person will have one fruit and it will feed him and keep him full for days. When? When Isa alayhi salam comes and the Dajjal is killed and piety fills the earth. When piety fills the earth, Allah allows His mercy, mercy to reach the people of this earth. It is our sins, O servants of Allah. And it is only our piety that will turn this situation around. Each of us individually have a role to play. We have to fix ourselves. If we fix our home and give da'wah to our neighbor's home, and then we have two homes fixed, inshallah, this will spread until the neighborhood is fixed. And when the neighborhood is fixed, perhaps the vicinity will become fixed. And when the vicinity becomes fixed, perhaps the area will become fixed. And when the area becomes fixed, perhaps the city will be fixed. And then the other cities until the country is fixed. And like this, until the continents are fixed, this is the duty upon us, O servants of Allah.